every day I get a request from patients to go get a stem cell therapy for a hole in their heart or for an incurable brain disease. And I have to say to them that unfortunately right now we have lots of leads and stem cell therapies that work in animals for many diseases, but we have no stem cells that can fix the heart. We are hoping to have stem cells that can fix brain diseases. But the most important thing is that when we finally get the stem cells to patients, we will have done it in a way that we safeguard everybody all the way, that we will be using scientific principles proven in the laboratory before we put them into people. These websites that advertise stem cell therapies usually go way beyond what is proven scientifically. Stem cell research is tough and we're moving it forward and we're moving it as fast as we can. But having hospitals that protect the patients and regulatory bodies that make sure that what you give patients is not only safe and effective is important. That way, when we treat a patient, we have a high chance of treating them and curing the disease. But we want to go forward as fast as possible, but not so fast that we try unproven therapies on people. Some people are out there putting cells into the heart or into the liver or into the lungs with the hope that those stem cells will regenerate those tissues after a heart attack or from a congenital malformation of the heart. These are unproven therapies. Any operation where somebody would try to put cells into you that are unproven can have the effect opposite of what you want. People can die during operations. The cells might be not handled in the right way, so they might carry infections. They may be the wrong cells for the wrong treatment. So like all medical advances that come from great discoveries, we have to move deliberately forward. And we have to move our own regulatory agencies like the FDA into this new era of stem cell regenerative therapy very fast but not so fast that we harm people by treating them with the wrong cells for the wrong disease. So when you think about going to one of these clinics, you should talk to your caregiver and ask, is this really proven? Is this safe for me? Is this safe for my child or mother? Where can I get the advice of where to go forward?